there's a lot of research showing that uh, regular sauna practice is really good for you. It's going to improve cardiovascular health, lower heart rate, improve blood circulation, strengthen your immune system, and lower risk of many diseases. But how long do you have to take the sauna to get those benefits? Check out this video about the sauna benefits. How long do you need to sauna to get the benefits? Come with me if you want to live. Normal human body temperature is 36 to 37 degrees Celsius or 96.8 to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. When you go into the sauna, your body temperature will start rising, which causes hyperthermia. Hyperthermia starts about 37.5 degrees Celsius or 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit. That's how high you need to get your body temperature to start seeing benefits from the sauna. The longer you stay in the heat, the higher your body temperature will get. Here is a timeline of the sauna benefits based on the research we currently have. 5 to 10 minutes, you start sweating and excreting toxins. People have different thresholds for when they start sweating, but if you've entered hypothermia, you should start seeing evaporation of sweat from your skin at least in some amounts. Your body will probably at least start to get moist. It's been shown that human fat tissue contains many man-made synthetic substances, including persistent organic pollutants, POPs. Fortunately, you actually can excrete toxins through sweat. Studies find heat-induced sweating decreases POP levels by 25-30% to 30 in fat and blood by heat-induced sweating. Sauna therapy also helps to eliminate heavy metals like arsenic, cadmium, lead and mercury as well as POPs. 12 minutes, heart rate elevation. People's heart rate response to the heat also differs and some may get their heart pounding even within 5 minutes. It depends on your level of cardiovascular fitness, heat tolerance and the temperature of the sauna. A study on healthy young men saw that their heart rate elevated after 12 minutes in 90 to 91 degrees Celsius or 194 to 195 degrees Fahrenheit. 15 minutes, white blood cell count increases. A study on Finnish athletes and non-athletes found that a 15 minute sauna session at 90 degrees Celsius or 204 degrees Fahrenheit followed by a 2 minute cool bath increased the number of white blood cells, neutrophils, lymphocytes and basophils. Their core temperature rose by 1.2 degrees Celsius. 15 minutes, growth hormone increases up to 5 times. Heat stress raises growth hormone that inhibits muscle protein breakdown. Two 15 minute sauna sessions at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit, dry heat separated by a 30 minute cooling period, increase growth hormone fivefold. 20 minutes, cardiovascular benefits kick in. The elevation of heart rate by sauna mimics some aspects of cardiovascular exercise. Your threshold for cardiovascular benefits is determined by your age. To find your maximum heart rate, subtract your age from 220. Zone 1 is about 50-60% to 60 of your max heart rate, which is where you get the cardiovascular benefits. Zone 2 is 60-70% to 70 of your max heart rate, and Zone 3 is 70-80% to 80 where you are training endurance. 30 minute sauna sessions after working out 2 times per week for 3 weeks have been shown to increase the participants run until exhaustion by 32% compared to baseline. Cardio. 15 to 30 minutes, heat shock protein response. When you experience heat stress, the body produces heat shock proteins that begin to repair the damage and mitigate the stress. A review on the benefits of sauna on diabetes said that 15 minutes at 80 to 100 degrees Celsius or a hot tub at 40 degrees Celsius can be a promising tool for diabetes and obesity thanks to increasing nitric oxide and heat shock protein 70. It appears that athletes and fitter people see a greater expression of heat shock proteins in response to the heat. Some studies also find that heat shock protein response occurs even before your core temperature rises when exposed to the heat. In rats, 30 minutes of hyperthermic conditioning at 41 degrees Celsius or 105.8 degrees Fahrenheit increases heat shock proteins in muscles, which correlated with 30% more muscle regrowth than a control group during 7 days after they had been immobilized. Basically, taking an easy sauna helped the rats to regrow their damaged muscles faster. In humans, sitting in 73 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes increases heat shock protein 72 by 95 by 49 to 54%. 30 minutes, blood sugar reduction. Saunas improve insulin sensitivity by increasing the expression of a glucose transporter called GLUT4 that helps to clear the bloodstream from sugar and directs it into muscles. Just 30 minutes of hyperthermic conditioning 3 times a week for 12 weeks has resulted in a 31% reduction in insulin and blood sugar levels. In diabetic mice, 30 minutes of sauna 3 times a week for 12 weeks decreased plasma insulin and blood glucose. 30 plus minutes, risk of dehydration. Staying in a sauna for too long can cause dehydration, arrhythmia, heat exhaustion, electrolyte imbalances, hypertension and even stroke. You can also lose a lot of electrolytes and minerals through sweating, especially if you don't hydrate properly or aren't getting enough salts. 
60 minutes, growth hormone increases 16 fold, two one hour sauna sessions a day at 80 degrees Celsius for seven days was shown to boost growth hormone by 16 fold on the third day. <laughs> so as you can see, the body experiences the benefits of sauna at different times. So you don't get all the benefits immediately. You have to kind of build up to a certain point. I think the minimal effective dose is about 15 to 20 minutes, but optimally you would want to aim for up to 30 minutes. That's where you're gonna get most of the benefits. Going beyond an hour or so is definitely not needed and it's probably not the best thing either. Based on the research I've just outlined, the optimal dose for taking a sauna is about 15 to 30 minute sessions at about 70 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius or 156 to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Optimal frequency would be 2 to 4 times per week, but doing it once a month even is still better than nothing. If you don't have access to the sauna, you can mimic some aspects of it with cardiovascular exercise or hot yoga. The elevation of body temperature is still going to give you a lot of the benefits. If you want to know how to take the sauna and engage in other similar longevity boosting activities, then check out my new book Stronger by Stress. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.